Hello, uh, welcome back to iTech Institution YouTube channel. So we all know in this series, right? We are on a regular basis and touch base with different different AWS uh, issues. Correct. So in that part, we have successfully completed three. Uh, different AWS troubleshooting scenario. I received lots of appreciation from the people. Okay, thanks a lot for the people who are responding to my video and registering their uh, opinion and their command. Uh, so I'm really thankful to each and every one of you for the continuous support. So as usual, your continuous support, right, which pushed me to make another video with this concept. Of course, yes, today we are going to see the another different issue which I faced in the live environment and frequently what we will face, which is Amazon S3 bucket showing error in the access field. Okay, this most common issues uh, uh, we repeatedly used to receive in the environments. Today, of course, yes, we are going to discuss about and uh, troubleshoot this uh, live issue only. All right. And uh, very important, when you go any interview, people would ask this question at least once. Why? Because uh, S3 is the most common. Okay. Uh, the S3 is the most common, uh, important uh, uh, factor in every environment. So obviously, right, we will be giving you a more priority to this uh, issue all right so let me move on in this issue right in every interview people can ask you in two to three different way uh, whatever the way they ask end of the day the solution for the issue right that's going to be same i'll tell you what are those people know there may be a chance they could ask you like this s3 bucket showing error and access uh, access denied or something like that okay if they ask in this way or if you go you know uh, in different angle, like uh, S3 buck access column shows error for all bucket. Okay, this could be another uh, question we can say. And third way, right, troubleshoot error and access field for buckets. So whatever the way they ask, right, end of the day, the problem is the same one. All right, the solution going to be the same one. Let me go to my uh, console and I'll show you. See, when I'm looking into my account, I have logged in as a user called Hari. This is my S3 dashboard. When I look at this S3 dashboard, right, I could see, you know, uh, my bucket is showing error. All right. This is my high tech account, security related data being stored in this uh, bucket. This shows error. When I go inside, right, uh, I could see even again further insufficient permission to list the objects. So I'm not able to do anything at all. Even if I go to the properties, okay, everywhere across the bucket, wherever the option I go, I could repeatedly seeing the same issue. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this as the challenge. I'm going to troubleshoot each and everything uh, based upon this issue. All right. Fine, guys. Uh, now, let me quickly go back to my uh, list of buckets. So, where, you know, we could see many other buckets. Uh, in Right. I'm facing error in this specific bucket. All right. So, let me filter this bucket now. I'll move on to my uh, presentation. Okay. So when you put a S3 bucket showing error, okay, we have some four to five different stages to troubleshoot. We'll see one by one. And number one, okay, check what is the current status of other S3 buckets, whether all the buckets are showing error or any specific bucket showing the error. Okay, if you take any AWS account, obviously there will be a multiple S3 buckets will be there, correct? So you need to identify whether all the buckets are showing the error or any one specific bucket showing the error. That is very important. Okay, now I'll go back to my AWS account. When I check, this is the high tech uh, account security. Okay, this bucket showing me error. But when I clear the filter, right, I could see there are few more buckets also available in my account. See, B83, B83, some other like that. But remaining buckets, right, they don't showing any error. Only I could see this particular bucket uh, giving me a error. So I can clearly confirm uh, in the, I mean, in the user perspective, there is some, you know, special setting has been enabled for the specific bucket. That is the reason we are getting error in this particular bucket alone. Remaining bucket all accessible to me. Even see if I go with, you know, high tech account standardization, this is another bucket when I go, I would be able to see the content behind. Okay, there is no problem with that. I would be able to see the content behind. If I go back to the buckets, so if I come down, only I would see the error from this particular bucket. So answer for this uh, point number one, right? When I checked in my AWS account, most probably, right, uh, the buckets, uh, only one bucket, uh, currently my security bucket showing me a error. Of course, since uh, that bucket we in our organization we are using for storing some sensitive content, you know, the bucket name itself shows security. Security stuffs are there. So now we are going to troubleshoot that bucket only. Okay, point number one. Finally, I'm trying to conclude. 
uh, in my account there are plenty of buckets are available only security bucket currently showing me the error okay let's check what is the suggestion we have given for point function so when come to point 2 check iam user or role whatever you are trying to authenticate okay has the following permissions okay basically we would able to access our bucket either through iam user or either it should be done it through iam roles right whatever the way you access you need to make sure uh, following permissions are assigned to your bucket what are those permissions are s3 get account public access block get bucket public access block get bucket policy status get bucket acl list access points like these several permissions and policy right it's very much important when you take any iam user or any iam role if you are failed in getting these uh, permission right sometimes that may be a chances uh, we would uh, expect there is a error showing in the bucket level all right so otherwise in the bucket level uh, sorry in the user level if you have any customized the policy also apart from these policy if i have restricted anything or something like that if i written any policy in such a way to restrict the bucket that time also we may face some issues so for checking all these permission and checking the users uh, permission level is there any customization has been done in the user level i'll go back to my aws account i'll search for you know iam okay i'll search for iam i need to open iam in new tab i i expect currently this user no hari he doesn't have a permission to see iam so what i will do i'll just check uh, probably i'll end up with the error only i'm not able to see anything in iam let us verify okay see again i do not have permission to see iam because iam is something a crucial one and critical one not easily everyone will have access so what i need to do in the case what i need to do so since i am not able to access my iam in my uh, iam user next step right in point t they are suggesting possible login from do to user and check what is the status of the error bucket not only for checking the user uh, whether it's showing error or uh, i mean bucket is showing error or not apart from this right uh, we also need to check uh, the respective uh, user right uh, we need to confirm whether it has some customized policy or something things are available we need to check that as well okay without that obviously right we won't be able to make it things done so what i will do i'll be going back to my account this is a different browser now i'm going to log in with the root user when i'm logging to the root user two thing can be done now okay one is we would be able to check whether i am user has proper permissions and same time we would be able to check whether the s3 bucket has sufficient uh, permission or s3 bucket level we have any settings and things are stuff that we will be able to see okay so when i check i'll be logging into the uh, users let me click on next all right here uh, for root user let me provide my password and log in to this account this is my root account okay in this root account when i log in first i'll go to iam service uh, iam service available here let me click on iam first i'll go to am user i'll check for the permissions what permission we have assigned to the user called hari okay, when i go to user i could see hari user the user is available when i go inside of hari i can check whether the uh, required permissions are assigned or not i'm going to check it so when i check see I, i i could see amazon s3 full access has been provided for the user also this user part of storage l2 team for storage l2 team has already amazon s3 full access i can confirm there is no problem with uh, permission level i could confirm here by seeing uh, even i can you know uh, check uh, by the json we have provided s3 full access there is no problem with that s3 full access permission has been assigned to this user so i why i am telling in time to write we got the suggestion these five permission should be there it only then people would able to access it so when i am checking in the uh, aws iam console i could see s3 full access has been assigned to the user and required permissions also already in place there is no problem in that okay fine now we have checked the user settings now what i am going to do i am going to log in as a uh, root i'll go to the uh, s3 let me check whether from root user the bucket is showing properly or the bucket having some issue okay same here it's showing or what we will confirm now so right now f3 is keeps loading in my side so if i if i can see all the buckets are displaying if i scroll down see again for root user also we could see error status only for the specific security bucket which mean what is the reason in the sense the high tech account security right this bucket has some customization has been done maybe some bucket policy or maybe some 
specific setting level or something they have enabled due to that only it's showing me a error all right so when i go inside of this uh, bucket right see it's again showing me insufficient permission from the root user also we are getting the same permission error and also when i go on it's the same uh, settings you know even i tried initially with the s3 harry user same response i received now when i'm checking with the root user also same error same response i am receiving what else can be done Point four, they are suggesting if the bucket has any custom policy. Usually, what happens, right? Bucket will be having some customized policy, where the customized policy, right, will give you a, a proper uh, clarity, will give you a uh, you know a restriction to the bucket. We need to check whether uh, they have applied any uh, bucket policy. Keep in mind when you are having. S3 bucket policy, right? If you are wrongly mapped any policy or assigned any policy, only root can able to modify it or read it. Okay. So until and unless, see, right now I have logged in as a root, right? If I go back to the another browser where you can see as a hurry. Okay, user hurry. When I go and open this uh, bucket, actually, whatever we got here, right? Uh, one sec. When I open this bucket, if you go to permissions, if you go to permissions, See, there's something called bucket policy. Uh, this bucket policy you won't be able to see when you logged in as a Harry user. Okay, but at the same time, I'll switch my window. I'll go back to the root login. When you click on the permission for the same bucket, when you come, see, you have an option to read out the content. You have an option to read out the content. What does it mean exactly? So, in that bucket, they have assigned some permission. What is the permission? See, they have denied it of okay, this entire bucket. If IP is not you know, equal to this specific IP range, what they did in the bucket level, they had a custom policy. In the custom policy, they have restricted apart from this network range. This is our office network range, actually. Uh, so, apart from this range, right, uh, we won't be able to access to any other. Uh, network okay due to security reason because of the security bucket right when you come to office only then you will be able to access this bucket that way they have defined a policy now what i will do right in google i'll just type like see my ip okay just for troubleshooting i'll get my public ip i'll try to allow my public ip in the s3 bucket policy and we'll confirm okay this is my public ip i'll there i'll click on edit okay I'll click on edit in the bucket uh, permission. Keep in mind that only S3 bucket policy can be edited by root user. Okay, when it has error. So generally you can edit it, but when it has error, so only root user can do it. I'll change like 32. Okay, this is my IP. I'm just changing. Okay, just for troubleshooting, I'm changing it. Nothing else. So I'm, when I give, you know, click on okay, right? Now it's showing me proper value. You know, that was the issue. Okay, they have restricted initially. I gave an allow permission to my network range. So if I go to the property uh, without seeing an error, I would be able to see all this data. When I go to objects, I would be able to see all the data. And if you go to the list of buckets, right? So uh, this account security bucket this was giving me error. So now see, objects can be public or whatever status no, it has been given. So for root, no, it's rectified. The problem has been rectified for the root. Same way when you check, right? Same way when you check uh, to the Harry user, see it's still showing me error for. What I need to do, just I'll give refresh and I'll confirm whether it's showing me error. Uh, this should be fixed now. We can wait and see. Yeah, of course, yes, it got fixed. Don't find any errors. Okay, whatever the recently updated, I would be able to see. If I even go to the property, I will be able to uh, access all the things. If I, even, if I go to the office, I would be able to access all these things. If I got back to the buckets. Now I should be able to see all the buckets are showing me properly. The, even the security bucket doesn't have any issue. So finally, what are you trying to mean? So point number four, who provided me a solution? Uh, check the bucket has any custom policy. Yes, of course, they made a custom policy since it's a security bucket. So all the security related contents are available in the bucket. So made a security policy in such a way, bucket level, they have applied the policy. It should be accessible only their office environment. So it shouldn't be accessible to outside world. So keep in mind, when any bucket uh, has custom policy where it ends up with any error or things or stuff, even though you have a F3 full access, you won't be able to modify that bucket policy. You need to log in as a root user, only then you will be able to uh, modify or delete the F3 custom bucket policy. That is an important point to keep in mind. All right. So fine, guys. So finally, we identified what is the solution need to be done when there is a issue with the F3. All right. So thanks a lot for watching this video. And one more very important thing. Uh, you want any specific topic or you want any specific uh, troubleshooting video to any specific service, please drop your, drop your information in the comment section below. Okay. Because 
which gives me more idea to prepare a more video actually all right so if you have any specific requirement uh, try to mention that in the comment box let me make a video in such way and i'm strongly recommending all of you to share this video with your friends okay because this will be a great help for me because i am spending time for you guys only okay so when i'm spending time you have to give me some things right so do share with your friends and subscribe our channel if anybody not yet subscribed because on a regular basis we are posting these kind of live troubleshooting video and all other technical video in related to cloud computing aws azure tcp everything so apart from that if anyone need a live training okay online based uh, forget about the youtube people and the udemy people you are getting many third party institutes are providing training the trainings are such a way like purely theory or there will be installation configuration oriented training but here i am talking about aws and devops real project based live training actually so we will be taking our live environment a live project we are providing you the client use case based live project based training okay very affordable price aws and devops we are planning to start a batch so anybody interested right do uh, call or whatsapp to this following number okay so that will be great help for us and do subscribe our channel share with your friends okay thank you guys thanks a lot thanks for watching the video maybe i'll come up with new topic for next one all right thank you bye bye